Welcome to Hastings College and the Jackson Dins Art Center. I'm here to give you a tour, so let's start by going into the gallery. This is our gallery, state-of-the-art gallery with lighting. You know, at night it's beautiful because it's illuminated from the outside. I call it the illuminated cube. You know, over here you can actually see a picture of it at night. There is a really, you know, it's, it's beautiful. But we're really, really lucky to have this, this gallery here. So out here is the foyer where we started off. This is a space where students do a lot of gathering. Uh, they'll sit out here during the day and talk. This is our critique gallery here, a space that the, the professors use to look at students' work and talk about it and give them, give them feedback. Here we have the Danny Busboom Student Studio Space. This is where seniors and juniors, uh, in particular seniors, get to keep their work up. It, senior thesis is a year long class. They keep their work up, they continue to work on it. We can talk to them and crit critique their work and give them feedback you know, while they're in this space. So it's a, it's a great perk for being a senior to have this space at Hastings College. Across the wall here, we have the Carrie and Brian Hamilton Media Room. This room has uh, various various needs or uses. You know, uh, intro to art is taught in here, art education. We also are just starting to set up the media lab, which will have two 3D printers. We also have computers here for uh, editing video, doing animation, and different kinds of computer art. Please follow me. This house is all the introduction painters, students who are taking painting, and also the advanced painters who are not senior thesis or junior thesis uh, students. We're very lucky, we've got these great skylights here. We get wonderful north light, very even light that you don't get when you get south light. And it's a great space. It's a wonderful space. We've got these gray walls, they're homosote. They're a self-healing kind of a tack board where you can, you can uh, tack things up and you take it off, it won't leave holes in the wall, which is nice. And you'll find that in a lot of the classrooms. To the drawing studio. Every student is required to take two semesters of drawing. This is taught by Turner McGee. Uh, he teaches the drawing, the printmaking, and art history classes. Uh, the drawing classes, we have two semesters. The first semester is a lot of outside drawing, you know, perspective, still lives, and then when you get into the second semester, there's, there's uh, working with models and, and the human figure. This is the printmaking studio. We now have these exhausts that can be moved, you know, moved anywhere in, into the, in the room to exhaust any fumes from inks or solvents. Come on across to ceramics. Here we've got the clay making room. Over here we'll walk into the glaze. Glaze making and glaze room. As a student, you learn you know, not only just to glaze your work, but to, to mix glazes. This class is taught by Jerome Dubas. He's an adjunct faculty. He's a, a full-time teacher at Grand Island Senior High. He's been teaching here for over 20 years. He does a great job, and we've, uh, we're really glad to have him. This is the kiln room. You know, we've got the electric kilns in here, we've got good ventilation, we're lucky to have this, and the electric kiln room's outside. So we've got a 24 square foot gas kiln that we've had for quite a while. Jerome's building a new 12 square foot kiln. We also have raccoon firing out here. We're gonna cut across here and go over into the uh, sculpture studio. This is a, a work courtyard for sculpture when the weather's good. Aaron Badham is teaching sculpture right now. He's built all the equipment in here. He has set up three welding stations. We've got MIG welding, TIG welding, plasma cutting. So here's the college wood shop. Uh, we've got a saw stop, which is the most safe table saw you could possibly have. If you touch the blade, the blade stops running and drops into the table. Uh, students won't lose any fingers, or anyone will. It is the 
best equipped largest glass studio in any college or university in the United States. We've got two glass furnaces over here, and then we've got five glory holes here. Uh, the annealers, or after you blow a piece of glass, you can't just let it, you can't just let it cool in the air so it'll shatter. So we've got five annealers right now that you, you put your glass in when it's, the annealer's totally full, we have a computer that'll bring the temperature down slowly. And here we are back to where we started. I really appreciate the time you guys coming on this tour with me. Is there anything else I can do? Just give me a call.